Phil, spring breakers are having to pay a little more for this year's getaway. Between driving or flying, grabbing a bite to eat, and buying tickets to those destination must-sees. Most say one way or another, they're spending extra. I usually will come up two or three times a year. I think this year we'll only do once. Travelers haven't experienced the hike in airline tickets yet. That's because those already visiting bought tickets before the spike. However, expenses have been higher than expected. When we came over here, we were um, surprised by the, some of the prices um, on both uh, fuel yeah. and food. And We have been we, told that it was very uh, cheap. Very cheap. Yeah. That's because restaurants on Fisherman's Wharf have to pay extra to serve up those savory seafood dishes. If they want Dungeness crab or a lobster tail or king crab legs, you know, you have to jack the price up because they're charging us to get the products. And it's just ridiculous. Other tourist hot spots on the wharf are also feeling the impacts. If you think it costs a lot to fill up your car or truck, try filling up one of these boats for business. I was showing a receipt that was over $3,000. Yeah, it's definitely impacted the prices of fuel for the boats and stuff like that. They don't count, just, they just have to go up because they had to go up, you know. And if fuel prices keep going up, ticket prices might have to follow. I haven't raised them yet, but I may have to raise them up three to five dollars. We'll see what happens. Regardless of the steeper cost of food and gas, people are still traveling. We have the same travel and the same uh, route uh, that, uh, that, that that was planned, uh, but we are we are walking more maybe yeah. than than taking the car because. Yeah, of the prices. Aside from traveling, many I spoke with today said groceries have been a significant hit to their budgets. Reporting in Monterey, Erica Bratin, KION News Channel 5, 46.